say you knew it would be violating uh, decorum rules, but did you have any idea that the backlash would be like this from your colleagues? No, we had no idea that what we were doing would break a rule that could lead to our possible expulsion or our actual expulsions. I didn't know I couldn't do that. That was good, wasn't it? Because I did know I couldn't do that. <laughs> Hello, welcome back, viewer. Well, another day, another media narrative that it's different when Democrats do it. You may have heard of the so-called Tennessee Three. Three Democrats who were expelled from the Tennessee State Legislature for breaking rules and decorum by taking part in a Democrat insurrection that stopped Democratic proceedings. For the past few weeks, this story has been pumped out by our Democrat state media who are, as usual, deceitfully crafting myths and theatrics straight from the movies for the purposes of propaganda to benefit the Democrats. So in this clip, we have Don Lemon and Tennessee State Rep Democrat Gloria Johnson, who just straight up lies to cover up the truth about what actually happened at that Tennessee State Legislature right after this important free coin offer from Noble Gold. The second and third largest bank runs in history happened last month. The government is taking steps to guarantee all deposits. That means more money printing. Thousands have approached Noble Gold Investments to secure their wealth with gold. Gold is the most stable asset outside of government control. Hurry and go to noblegoldinvestments.com to secure your wealth. Bag a free five ounce America the Beautiful coin if you qualify. Noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. You can find the link to that in the description or pinned comment. If you call, make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. And remember, there's always risk in investment, and there are no guarantees of any kind. I want to ask you about, you've been very upfront after the vote last week that you felt race played a role in Jones and Pearson's removal. Exactly. And it wasn't just her. Minus Fox News, all the other so-called mainstream media outlets supported that narrative, with all the headlines blasting the skin color of two Democrats involved in the so-called protest. I say so-called because if this were a group of right-wing Republicans, the media would definitely be calling it an insurrection or a violent uprising. One of these Democrats, Justin Jones, has actually already been banned from the Capitol once for assaulting one of the speakers. In another incident, Justin Jones and his BLM mob had stopped traffic and then assaulted one of the drivers with a traffic cone who was trying to get away. Yeah, a real upstanding civil rights hero you have there. Just it enraged them because to them, um, we are not equal. To them in the South, we still are separate and unequal. Anyway, the media has been largely assisting the Democrats in crafting this alternate reality scenario where mean, white, racist Republicans kicked out two peaceful black Democrats merely for protesting while letting the white woman off the hook while giving it the full 60s civil rights era treatment. Ah yes, civil rights heroes who are most known for wanting to take away your most basic constitutional rights. Unsurprisingly, this is a lie. But Don Lemon is actually about to call her out, but don't fall for it. It's just a trap so that she can then dismiss the charges and reassert the narrative by simply lying, which Don Lemon will help her to legitimize. That you felt race played a role in Jones and Pearson's removal, but there are some of your Republican colleagues who are saying the difference was in their estimation, that it wasn't race, that you argued, your attorney argued to the contrary, uh, that you never shouted or pounded the podium or displayed a sign uh, containing pol a political statement last week, and also that you chose not to participate in a letter uh, that their attorneys had submitted, that you, your attorney didn't take part in that letter that you submitted your own. Do you still believe that it was race, and how do you respond to your colleagues who are saying that? What the actual fuck did you just say to me right now? This is the most maddening part of this entire thing. Thing. Yes, you heard that correctly. She herself and her lawyer already argued that she shouldn't be removed because she didn't take part in the actions that broke the rules. Get out of my sight. She didn't break the rules, thus she wasn't punished. Do you still believe that it was race and how do you respond to your colleagues who are saying that? Um, you know, I'm, I, I've been sitting in that body for a while. I hear racist statements 
all the time. Of course, the racism trump card. I guess she's already digging in on that hill, so no turning back now that it's been exposed that you yourself and your lawyer argued that you shouldn't be punished because you didn't break the rules. But I'm sure with all this racism around you that you've come prepared with receipts and examples, right? (laughs) Right? No, you idiot! And it was just a few weeks ago that one of my colleagues in our criminal justice committee um, oh, oh. We were, we had a bill, they have a bill to bring back the firing squad and the electric chair. And one of my colleagues said, I think we should bring back hanging by a tree. Um, he literally suggested lynching. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, I, I think it's very clear. No. I'm sorry, what? What's racist about that? Did he say let's bring back hanging just for black people? No, he did not say that. Although I will say it's a stupid thing to say precisely because it leaves you open to Democrats like Gloria. But the fact is such a law would include white people. Basically, this is gonna be the everything I don't wanna hear is racism defense. Uh, I, I think it's very clear. There, there have been statements in committee for years and um, they've made themselves clear. If you heard the questioning of those two young men compared to my questioning, you definitely heard um, racially tinged questions. No. What were those questions? Why aren't you telling us? Why don't you have examples? Why isn't Don Lemon asking? It, it, it's, it's blatant, quite frankly. Representative, do those statements make it onto the local media would you like to see more coverage we just did a segment (laughs) no he doesn't ask what those questions or statements were instead he asks this democrat if she thinks the media should be producing more deceptive propaganda that's targeted at her political opponents hard-hitting stuff there don this is yet another case of the democrats their state media and their voters convincing themselves that it's somehow different when they do it when their partisan standards come back to bite them take a deep breath and just realize that in the end we will win these people aren't lying and gaslighting the country because they're confident in the narratives that they're spreading thanks a lot for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit that like button share subscribe hit that notification bell and make sure to leave a comment to let us all know what you think thanks a lot i'll see you all in the next one